Now the topic that we are supposed to cover is here fabric extenders. Cisco 2000 series switches. These are this is the switch that we have seen 5548. Now the other device is your fabric extender. Now it is just a, sim a simple remote line card for us. Nothing different. See, for example, if I say this is my 5500 series switch over here, 5548, I want more ports to it. How will I add more ports to it? So if I say this is my 5500 series switch, Cisco Nexus switch, 5548, I want to add more ports to it. How will I add ports? So what I can do is I can buy a 2000 series FEX device. And this FEX is just going to act as a remote line card over here. On this fabric extender, you will have ports in this color over here. Yellow colored ports will be there. Now, these ports are the ones that will connect to your parent device, you can see. So if I say I have my first and my second port connecting to the FEX 1 and 2. Now, this is a very blank switch, you can say it is. It does not even have a console port does not even have its own operating system. So if I want to associate a FEX, what I will do is I will connect the cables on the specs like this. And I will tell my 5000 series that this is, for example, this is interface Ethernet 1 slash 1 hyphen 2. This is switch port mode is FEX. And I will say FEX associate. But before doing that, any any number between 100 to 199. But before that, we need a feature fix. Simple as that. What will this do? Now, this can be deployed in three ways. There is something called pinning. So you can have static pinning, dynamic pinning, and pinning with VPCs. So here you have your port number, for example, three and four. These ports are different. You will also have one port, two port three port, four port over here also. These ports can be connected to your end servers or any other device over here. So if you are on your 5548, five, you will see your remote line cards. See, so if I associate now 111 slash one slash one, this one refers to this one over here. So if you, if you want to assume it like this, simply assume that this, uh, this 5500 series switch has one more slot into it. You can think of it like this. So this 5500 series will be internally connected to this guy like this. And this has other ports over here. One, two, three, four, like that, so on and so forth. Right? So VEX is used only just as a remote line card. Nothing new for it. It can be having, it can be associated with your 7000 series, I think 6000 also. So this is the yellow side that I wanted to show you. These are the yellow ports wherein you connect to the parent. Some people connect it over here and the fix does not come up. Yellow here it will have yellow for us 5000. It is normal port, but any port, yeah, any number, any port. And just you have to say that this is a fix port. Yes. Associate. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So if you say you mentioned the one. Yes. Fix number, yes. So you Last call one is the port number. number. Yeah. Middle, middle one is a slot, you can say this one, two. So you will have slots only. So let me show it to you how it is done. So this is my 5000 series switch. As of now, there is no password on this one. So I'll just give it a blank password, a, a simple password. So we'll see the theory in a moment, more of a theory. So let's do that. Now, if I say configure terminal, now let me see my design, which port is connected. So if I say I have this 5500 series or 5672 for that matter, if I say this is my 5548 or 5672, no worries. And then these two ports are going to my fix device. On, so first of all, you will say feature fix. First of all, feature fix. And here I will go in here. And I'll say feature fix. Initiate the feature. Now you can, you know, uh, I'll, I'll tell you the theory. Just, just think. So you have a few options of deploying a fix. You can deploy a fix on the physical ports, on the physical ports, or you can bundle these ports into a port channel also. There are three ways you can do that. One is your physical ports. 
second is your normal port channel dynamic pinning and you can also associate it with your other 5 5 series with vpc three ways of deploying your fix single with static pinning or dynamic pinning or with vpc i'll show you how to do that with vpc also but as of now just a moment so let's see how do you do that so first what i will do is i will simply show you with the static pinning just just the static method so interface e1/1-2 switch port mode is fx enter fx fabric simple as that and you will say on any number fx associate any number between 100 and 199 so i'll say okay 111 simple as that and you have to shut uh, no shut these ports turn the ports on now the command to check will be your show fix so we saw three commands first switch port mode is fix fabric first is initiating the feature installing the feature then switch port mode fix fabric and fix associate it with a number and show fix will show you which all fix devices are connected let me check this will show us maybe my connection is restart okay let me check it's connected 